Um, I do not have another set of primers in my stash, um, my collection. So I'm just going to be using my normal Becca First Light Priming Filter and Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. So in my stash, I found uh, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have the shades 00A Porcelain, which is too light, and 00 Light Natural, which is too orange. So I'm hoping that if I mix them together, I can achieve balance. It'll be okay. I forgot how good a cover she says though. Obviously you can still see my spot, but I think it's nice. I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade Classic Ivory. Normally I blend my concealer in with a sponge, but I'm too lazy to go wet my sponge. And I don't want to actually touch that pimple and get a whole bunch of bacteria in my concealer. This, I don't mind touching because it's not active. Same thing with this one over here, that's just a scar. Right in between my eyebrows, that's just a scar. So in my stash, another Milani product. Um, this is the Translucent, Translucent Light to Medium 01 Make It Last Setting Powder. So it's a loose powder and it has like a little sifter thing in there. So I'm just going to knock some in there and get out our fluffy powder brush because we are going to be using powder products today. Wow, that look, did a really good job. That looks really pretty. It's not cakey looking. It didn't make me look like I have a mask. It's not it's not sitting over my dry patches awful or anything like that. It's really nice. So for my eyes, I brought out the Menagerie palette from Feral, um, sorry, the Feral palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. It looks like this. It has a nice mirror on the top. And uh, I'm going to be doing just a very, very natural look with this because, again, I have to go to the doctor and I don't want to be going to the doctor with like a bold eye look. A brush, a fluffy brush, and I'm going to go in with Canis Lupus right here. These shadows are very pigmented and they have a lot of kickback, so just be careful with them. I'm barely touching my skin right now. So like I was saying, I'm just going to take this through the crease and the outer half of the eye. I'm not bringing it too close to the inner corner of my eye because that can start to make me look very tired and zombie-like. And then when I have very little product on, I'm just going to blend upwards so that I have a really nice transition. I'm going to go in with a smaller blending brush and go into the shade Alpha, which is a very gray tone shade, and I'm just going to put this in this very, very outer corner. So on another day, I would probably go in and go in with one of the beautiful shimmers that are in here, especially the green. The green shimmer is my favorite. Um, in the palette, but this one is also really gorgeous. It's like a duochrome shade and it's pink and brown. 
Um, this pink right here is again kind of like a duochrome like um, fire orange and pink shade but because I am going to the doctor I want something a little bit more subtle I'm gonna take out another item from my stash this I forgot that I had <laughs> it's the Tardis Pro Glow palette you can see it has the two mirrors in here they fold back nicely and magnetize um, and then you have a cream contour a powder contour and then four highlights I think that for today I'm gonna go in with strobe on my lid so from my collection I picked out the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is in the shade bron or light bronzer. I haven't used this in so long. And I'm just going to very lightly warm up my face. I go in with the strobe, which is the same color I used on my <laughs> lid. So it should tie things together quite nicely. And this is why I haven't done my eyebrows yet, is because I don't like having to avoid them when I'm putting on my highlight and bronzer. I'm gonna go with blush and bring a little bit of color back into our cheeks. I pulled out an oldie but a goodie. This is the Berry Mary blush from e.l.f. As always, I'll link everything down below, but I don't even know if they sell this anymore. Also, the lighting is changing, so hopefully it's not too weird and distracting. Um, I'm going to go in with kind of a smaller brush. And I'll use the mirror that's in here. What the heck? Oh, pigmented. Pigmented. Ah. Now I'm going to set my face. The only other setting spray I have, you guys know I normally use the e.l.f. like dewy coconut setting spray. The only one that I have in my stash is the ColourPop um, All Star Face Setting Spray. So I'm gonna set my face and then we'll do brows and mascara and lips. So for brows, like I said, I don't really have anything in my stash um, because I have used stuff up and whittled stuff away, so I don't have such like a huge like, collection anymore. But I do have the CoverGirl um, Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in 710 Soft Brow, so I'm just going to fill in my brows using this. Brows are sisters, not twins today. Um, I need to groom them. But next is mascara. CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara. There's nothing better. There's nothing better. To make this a fall look with my deep green shirt, my super neutral eyes, I'm going to go in with the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Toasted Marshmallow. So this is it, I have hair in my eye, for my fall shop my stash look. I definitely found some products that I think I'll keep around. This one, this highlighting palette, oh my gosh, I love the blush. 
Definitely the bronzer reminded me a lot of summer, so I don't think I'll be bringing that one out for winter. I obviously love the ColourPop um, spray. This Milani powder was really, really gorgeous. Um, and I just actually think that I'm going to declutter the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect. I just don't think that it's right for my skin tone. Um, sorry, not my skin tone, my skin type. Um, I think it looks okay, but I definitely have foundations in my collection that look nicer and it especially looks super super cakey on my breakouts so and also it's like creasing around my mouth and like I have I have a very prominent chin so it's like creasing on my chin and stuff like that but yeah let me know what you guys think of the products that I use today if you've tried them out if you like this type of video definitely please give this a thumbs up as well as leaving me a comment down below and letting me know if you want me to do one of these again in a couple of months um I hope you guys have a wonderful day thank you so much for spending time with me today and I will see you in the next video bye